Hello and welcome again to Stocks Advisor. Today we'll talk about Morph, a very interesting chart, a combination of news and the chart formation of technicality. I always like these ones. They usually require a very patient approach and understanding of what's happened. Well, of course, after having a news and target decline on 50%, we see this almost indeed a 50% decline in the price. Now the question is, should we enter or not? Well, if you like kind of Cosina style of trading, you can style of trading. You can, of course, try to enter it. It should be very volatile here. But if you want to uh, do it in a smart way, in a proper way, uh, most probably what we'll be observing here, we should have a relaxation after news and return to the technical uh, trade. Uh, what it means, it means there will be, let's say, a, let's say kind of a time of volatility with further descent because a more patient, uh, let's say, holders will be exiting. And then the price should, of course, uh, go higher. And there would be the first target at this level, which will be uh, actually the current price activity around here. Uh, let's make it green. But first, the price after volatility will go lower than this. It's very difficult to say to how lower. So this is the situation where we need to look at the non-price related parameters here to estimate the entry opportunity. And these would be three parameters non-price related. First one will be the moving average 20. This is the short, um, let's say, uh, moving average. And it will define here the action. So it should go down and start showing signs of the flattening out so when it will be start flattening this would be a clear sign that we can start entering and usually the distance between the gap between the price and the mortgage uh, 20 at this moment will be also big so the situation should resemble something that was happening here so you see we went down a little bit of volatility the flattening out and we go back so something like this but on a more skewed uh, term because here it's a very strong news uh, related effect and after that we should observe another let's say decline uh, might go a bit lower and then finally it should be a real um, let's say upside because by this momentum moving average 50 also will uh, cope and it will show very nice bubble-like behavior. So it will be like this. And there will be very strong attractor at moving average 200. And it will be finishing off the negative wave. So we should be on the rebounds. Therefore, uh, the first uh, entry would be, as I said, not price related. But we need to look at other parameters. One of those, as I said, will be flattening of moving average 20. Another parameter is actually the formation of the MACD histogram. Uh, it most probably will be double or triple wave. So once it will be close to break, uh, pierce higher situation again, similar to this or again, similar to this, as we just discussed, then we will be ready to enter. And another parameter, of course, is stochastic RSI. I prefer more stochastic now than uh, the average, uh, normal RSI. It will be most probably making a couple of false waves, then relaxing and only then starting the action. That's exactly what we should observe here. So when this will be formed, uh, we can enter. Speaking of timelines, I would say we need to wait at least um, a month or two to return here. But it's always good to constantly monitor this one because the upside should be uh, remarkable, similar to what we overall observed here. You see in the price action of April 22 towards uh, March 23, it was actually quite good increase also should be here. So this is kind of a mid longer term way of trading. But now we need to wait and observe. Once you see these indicators forming, you can slowly start entering into this position. That's it for Morph, a uh, very interesting combination of news and um, waiting before the trade will go back to technical and then entering into the position. If you like this way of study and analysis, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, press the bell button. This way you will not miss our new videos and new interesting discussions for US-based stocks.